Hello everyone and welcome to the next HCC SIM tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how to use the scenario editor to calculate different scenarios for your flow sheet and also how to use the table tool to draw tables for your flow sheet which show uh, different kinds of information about the process and also we will learn how to use the equilibrium calculations with the distribution unit. Let's start by creating the flow sheet of the process. So here we have the task listed, what we want to uh, study. In this case we want to study the ammonia formation in different temperatures and pressures. So we start to do the flow sheet. We use the distribution unit uh, with one input and one output. Ammonia reactor input gas and process gas. Okay. And then we go inside the unit operation and define the uh, actual inputs and the unit operation itself. So we have the N2 and H2 and we had 50 50 and then 100 cubic meters like this and uh, temperature okay we keep the input temperature 25 and then as for the output we write the possible species that can form so we have the ammonia and we have the hydrogen gas and nitrogen gas we change the uh, measurement unit to normal cubic meters here too. Uh, we don't change this temperature here because we will use this equilibrium mode in this case as noted in the task. Uh, I press here convert to the equilibrium mode and once you do this uh, the unit will create another sheet here named GIP sheet and in this GIP sheet we can see the result of the equilibrium calculations. So with these inputs now the results are something like this. We can also see it in the output sheet but in the GIP sheet we can also change the temperature and pressure and uh, see how it affects the outcome of the equilibrium. So for example I can write here 100 I can see that the results change. Okay, and next uh, we can start to go to the scenario editor itself to define the calculation scenarios uh, mentioned here. So we want to set uh, the temperature and we want to set the pressure for the process. So in the scenario editor we have uh, these insert reference cells over here where we need to get the reference of the cells we want to either set or follow. So in this case I have the temperature and I copy the cell reference and I paste it here. And then the pressure I do the same copy cell reference and paste. And uh, I need to write the variable names for those and also the measurement units and this also I need to say whether I change that value or whether I collect the value in this case I want to set these values and uh, I start with the temperature of 300 and then change the pressure in there from 10 to 100. After that we need to collect the cells uh, with the information that we want to study during the calculation. So uh, in this case it's probably the process gas composition here. And uh, now in HSC you can actually copy a cell reference area. So I can select an area and copy cell reference 
here if I want to add area of cells um, I cannot now use directly the paste cell reference I have to use the add cell references if I press here the program will automatically bring all the cells uh, on this horizontal row so now I got the references from here and uh, I will name them so we have the uh, process gas total and then we have the ammonia hydrogen and nitrogen uh, we have the same measurement unit so I copy that there and this cell is not set type this is get type you can also just write G and press enter and it will do the same okay so now we can test out how it works uh, we can run the selected scenario and now we can see that with these uh, calculations uh, with these set values we get these results uh, in the scenario editor there is the charts panel here where we can insert some uh, data from the calculated scenario so I press here edit chart data and I want to set the pressure as the X and the components to the Y I press OK and I get this kind of chart okay the results okay they seem reasonable so when we increase the pressure we get more ammonia gas in the process with 300 degrees of temperature then we also want to study how it behaves in 400 and 500 degrees so we could create new scenario and uh, then do it from scratch but we don't want to do that because we have this clone scenario tool here and when I press it it will create another scenario with exactly the same references and values and now I can just easily change the temperature to 400 and then clone again and then change it to 500 so now I have three scenarios 300 400 500 where I change the pressure in each one now I can press this uh, run all scenarios button here and it will run all the scenarios from the first to the last and uh, if I want to see all the results here at the same time I can just uh, create a couple of more charts edit data and then from the scenario 2 I select the same values for the second one and from the scenario 3 I select the same values for the third one I press OK and now I can see these kind of results here so from the results we can quickly see how the temperature affects and how the pressure affects the results of the ammonia reactor and uh, because this is done with the equilibrium so it doesn't take into account the kinetics or any anything any other details about the process so these results uh, are just purely thermodynamical results next uh, let's close this and uh, create the table for our flow sheet which shows uh, information about the temperature and composition of the ammonia reactor so we create the table by drawing it here normally drag and drop and then when you double click it you get this table editor open and here we can now write what we want to show so temperature and pressure uh, we insert a couple of more rows uh, make them of equal height and then the ammonia gas hydrogen gas 
and nitrogen gas. Uh, I will also insert the measurement unit here in the parenthesis. Like this, and here, and here. Okay. Then I need to go and collect the values. A little bit in the similar way as with the scenario editor, I go inside the unit and I copy cell references. So in this case I can again copy an area and I can paste the area here. And then as for the for the composition, I can also copy the area and paste it here. Okay. Now I got the results to the table. Uh, next, maybe I want to change uh, number formatting a little bit, so I decrease decimals here. And okay, that's it. So I close the table now, the table editor, and now I have it on the flow sheet, and I can move it around. Uh, the same as with the units and uh, I can always see the current information of the process here. So now I can go uh, inside the unit and change the temperature to 400 and I can see that it changed here. Uh, the tables have one uh, special functionality in HSC so if you have this kind of uh, reference here and I write a value on top of it it will not actually overwrite the reference but it will insert the value into the reference so if I now go here and look what's the value here it is 500 so you can also use these tables to control these values if you want It is also usually a good idea to somehow indicate that which values the user can change and uh, which they cannot. So for example, these values we can change. So I go to format cells, I change the font color for example to dark cyan. And then uh, for these values I want to note that they cannot be changed. So I go and change the interior color to gray. Okay, so uh, now you have learned how to uh, use the scenario editor in HSC Sim to create different calculation scenarios and how to show the results in charts with it. Also, how to use the tables. So now you can draw your own tables and insert whatever data from the process you want inside to that table. Uh, we also learned uh, how to use the equilibrium calculations uh, in this distribution unit. And this concludes uh, this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching.